So this fly I'm going to do now is one of my own patterns. It's a, a drowse dawn shrimp. It's been adapted from a tube fly, um, originally tied with the river drowse in mind, County Leitrim. And we've been getting or hearing some good feedback about this. It's been taking some good fish. So we're going to start off here. We have a size six a silver double. And this is a Vivas hot orange a six O. I'm just going to catch him by the eye and walk towards the points of the hook. For our tag section, we're going to use some Vivas uh, Silver Medium Oval. So I'm going to secure this underneath with a few turns. And we're going to form our tag with three turns. Secure back along the hook shank. So now for our tail, we're going to use some, this is a pheasant breast feather and it's dyed a red colour and then a hot orange over so it gives a lovely sheen. So we're just going to haul it by the tips and strip away the fluff from the base. So we're hackle pliers. We're just going to double this down. And again, we're going to secure this in at the tip. So lengthwise, we're looking one to one and a half times the length of the hook shank. So just free any of the fibers as we're going. Again, secure over a few turns. I can just tidy up. You just free any of the trap fibers. So for the next part of our tail now, we have some, this is a rainbow crystal flash. One strand, we're just going to bring it underneath. We'll just take a turn to lock it in and draw it back over the other side. We'll just trim these to length. So, again, for the rear half, for our rib, we're going to use some medium oval silver. Build up a, an even body. So now for the rear half of our body, we have some. This is a silver holographic, a large silver holographic. And again, we're going to catch this in at the midway point. Walk towards the tail. Turns are slightly overlapping. So 
Now we can bring our rib forward. So for the rear half of the body we're looking for three turns. Just keep them evenly spaced. Good. Now for our first tackle, we have a dyed yellow cock tackle. And again, we're just going to strip away any of the fibers from the base. Take it in our hackle pliers. Double down our fibers. Again, we just reverse it and tie it in by the tip. And we can just ease the fibers back as we're winding. Try not to trap any. You can trim away the waste off the stock. That looks good. So for the front of half of our body, we're going to start off again with some Vivas Oval. And for our body, we're going to use some, this is a claret floss. What we can do here is we can just wet our fingers and just draw the two tips together, two points. Just makes it a bit handier to, to tie in. Again, we can wind down towards our hackle. Sure that we've covered up and again back towards our eye. And secure with a few turns. Now we can bring forward our rib. Now the front body section we're looking for two turns. Again, underneath, and secure, and then lock it in. It's okay. Now for our front hackle, we have a dyed claret cock hackle. And again, we're just gonna strip away the unwanted fibers at the base. our hackle pliers and draw our fibers down. Again reverse, clean back from the tip, hold it underneath and catch it in. So we can begin to wind our front tackle now. Again, just encouraging the fibers 
as we wind the slope backwards. Taking our time, just one turn in front of the other. Any fibres that become trapped, you can just try and ease them back. Okay, last turn. Again, secure it in, and then lock it down. Trim away the waste in the stock. Just check that everything is sitting nicely. So now, for our cheeks, we're going to use some juggle cock. And again, we're just going to hold these by the tips and strip away some of the fluff from the base. Just hold these in place with a finger. Set them in. And again, we can take a few turns to lock them down. Again, the same on the near side. Just measure for length. That looks good. Again, just trim off our stock. Now we're just going to build up a neat head. And with finish. So all that's left to do now is we're just going to coat the head of the fly with a coat of UV resin. Again, we're using our thumb to steady ourselves. Cure it now with our UV torch. So there you have it, the Drow's Dawn Shrimp.